What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video, I've got a really cool project to showcase to you. This project is called SyncPlay. What exactly is it? Well, if you've ever used something like Netflix Party or Watch Together, you know that you can watch videos, movies, etc. with your friends and one or more people can control the actual video itself. You can skip forwards, backwards, change the video or movie, pause, play, etc, etc. And you can basically watch it as a party, as if you were sitting next to each other in real life watching it on one singular screen. Everyone or only one person has control and it's really great. Though of course, if you're not going to be watching something on YouTube or Netflix, then of course Netflix Party and Watch Together are more than likely not going to do it for you. In today's video, I'll be showing you a project called SyncPlay that works with VLC, MPV, MPCHC, and MPCBE. Basically, these are all media players that work on your PC, supported Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and you can watch local videos or movies together with your friends, assuming that they have the same video files as you, or at least similar video files. Video files with different playtimes and or sizes also work together, but of course there may be slight differences. The best, most ideal situation is you all have a similar or the same videos downloaded onto your computers. So with that all out the way, let's go ahead and set it up, connect to a server and show you how it works. So to begin, first open up a browser and head across to the first link in the description down below. When you get to this page, simply scroll down a little bit and download the Windows installer. Of course, Linux, Debian, and Mac are all supported. I'll simply click Run, wait for it to download, and it'll open up the installer right away. While this is downloading, you'll also need a supported media player, being MPV, VLC, MPCHC, or MPCBE. For this video, I'm going to be showing you VLC. Simply head across to the second link in the description down below if you don't already have a VLC media player. This will take you across to the official VideoLand website, and you can either click this button to download the 32-bit version, or you can click the drop-down and download the 64-bit version, which is what I'll be doing. For now, I'll ask VLC to save, and once SyncPlay is done installing, I'll install VLC. Of course, the order that you install these in doesn't matter. So there we go, the SyncPlay installer is now open. I'll simply just click OK after picking a language, read through the license, and then click I agree. When we get to this page, I like to create a desktop shortcut, and of course, you can disable the start menu shortcut or enable the quick launch bar if you'd like as well. I'll leave it as such and click install. Now sync play is installed, I can click close and I'll make sure that a media player that's supported is also installed. In this case, I'll install a VLC media player. After it's installed, all we have to do is simply open up sync play. If you see an error like this, don't worry, all you have to do is head across to the third link in the description down below to download the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable runtime. Heading across to this page, simply click download and then select the 86 version over here. Click next and then open it when it's done downloading. Then simply read through the terms, agree to them and install. At this point, we should be able to launch SyncPlay properly, which we are. So when you launch SyncPlay for the first time, you'll see something like this. Simply just select the installation folder of your media player if it's not already detected. Here it's already detected VLC, so I'm fine with this. Next up, let's go ahead and pick some settings up here. The first one is the server address. By default, all of these ones over here are available for free use and are of course encrypted. These are all hosted by SyncPlay, as you can see, syncplay.pl, and as far as I know, they're all hosted in France. I'll go ahead and pick the first server just for example. Then we can enter a server password if the one above has a password on it, but of course these public ones don't. If you'd like to set up your own server, check the description down below for a video that's coming out sometime in the future if there's any interest in it. Then we'll simply set a username, and of course this can be literally anything. I'll call it Troubleshoot. Then for a default room, all we have to do is enter a name of a room that we can make up that all of our friends will join as well. I'll simply call it TC. Then all you have to do is simply click Store Configuration and Run SyncPlay. Then both SyncPlay and your media player will open. This is of course the first time I'm launching VLC, so I'll just click Continue and leave it as such. At this point, you'll see some text on the left-hand side. No media directories have been set. For shared playlist and file switching features to work properly, please select File, Set Media Directories, and specify where SyncPlay should look for media files. All I'll do is go to File and then click set media directories. From here, simply add folders that contain movies or videos that you'll all watch together. 
I'll leave it inside of this videos folder. Of course, because there's nothing here, I'll go ahead and copy in a file from my desktop PC. Then after selecting a folder, I'll simply click OK. Now we've got a video file inside of our folder as far as I know. I'll open up the videos folder over here. And as you can see, here's a video file that we can go ahead and watch. Of course, it's going to be quite laggy as this is a virtual machine that I'm doing this on. Anyway, with that aside, you'll see this over here. In the top right, we have our current lobby and some security information in the top right. I, of course, am the only person in the room currently. I'll go ahead and join it on my desktop PC simply by entering the same information, picking the same server address and entering the same default room. There we have it. I've now joined on my desktop PC. Now, all we have to do is simply drag and drop a video file into the playlist over here. Immediately, the video file will open up, not just on your computer, but also the other computer that you're using. I'll of course have to do something a little bit trippy here and enable my video on my desktop PC as well. This is what I'm looking at over here on my desktop PC. I am Technobby. As you can see, the video is open over here and we have a similar window over here. Heading back to the virtual machine, this is what we see. Not ready, troubleshoot and tech knobby. All that we have to do is simply click the I'm ready to watch button and we'll immediately get a check mark next to us on both our computer and all of our friends will see it. At this point, everyone will need to ready up for this message to disappear and say everyone is ready. At this point, obviously, you can start watching the video. To make this a bit more obvious, I'll enable my desktop view over here. You can see this is the virtual machine and this is my main computer with the video file over here. All we have to do is simply hit play on one of the machines and it will immediately start playing the video through. Of course, the first bit of this video is frozen. I'll skip forward to say a bit later and you can see that it works perfectly well on all of the computers. We also see a history of the chat over here. And of course, we can see who's skipping to where and when, pausing and unpausing. When someone pauses, they'll immediately be unchecked from ready to watch and when they start playing, they'll be checked as ready to watch. So of course, with everything synced up, things are working great. If someone joins with a different file size or different video length, it'll be said on the screen, but as soon as everyone readies up and starts playing the video, that message will disappear and things will work basically as expected. Of course, there's a chat window down here so you can talk to your friends over this IRC-like connection and everyone will see it on their PCs as well. So with that aside, this is a really cool project. We can also right click in this window over here and we can add some interesting things. Not only can we add files, but we can also add URLs. I'll go ahead and do that now. If you have any video URLs, you'll be able to paste them in here and add them to the playlist. Of course, I don't really have any video URLs. So what I'm gonna do is copy and paste in a video URL from my YouTube channel. Of course, this isn't exactly a video URL, it's a YouTube URL, as it doesn't end in MP4, WebM, or anything like that. Clicking OK, let's see if it adds. It seems like it does. We'll double click to change to it. And as you can see, we have the video selected over here. But of course, the other person in the group still has the previous video selected because we simply skipped to it. If I have a look at my whole entire desktop, you can see that I have my YouTube video selected over here and the actual video file selected on my main PC. Clicking play on either unpauses both videos, but of course we're watching something different. Let's go ahead and have a look at sync play. Right clicking on our playlist, we can simply remove the video that we're watching and it'll force everyone to skip to this next video in the queue. At this point, you can see everyone synced up. We have the same video selected and simply hitting play, both of the videos will play as you're expecting. Skipping forwards and backwards works and everything works well. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't exactly expecting a YouTube direct link to work, but it seems like it does. Of course, if you have any other playlist or media link, you should be able to use that as long as you can play it inside of VLC Media Player. So that's really cool. Closing out of sync play, we'll disconnect from the lobby. And if our friends are watching a video, they'll continue to watch it. We'll just disconnect from it. Opening up sync play once again, we get the same options menu, but this time if we click show more settings, we have a bunch more options. Play pause, we see a bunch over here. Sync, also over here. Chat, messages, and miscellaneous. But of course, most people won't need to use that show more settings window as they'll have everything they need automatically set up. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.